All right, so we finally have the Orphix Wendem update on console. Uh, I mean, you know, it's so fucking late, but it's finally here, and I am very happy with it. Now, at first, I thought it, this was going to be a little bit harder, and it is. It's not like easy, and you're definitely gonna need a lot of things to really get it going. But uh, the event itself is pretty much simple you can do it solo and it is doable solo and actually have a good score like you know I see a lot of people were getting like 30,000 and, and, and right now I saw like on PlayStation P the most amount of points that somebody has gotten in a full squad was like 33,000 or something like that so let's say 30,000 points or something but uh, because I play by myself and I can't really play with other people be and I know a lot of other people are probably going to be having the same issue where they don't have an internet connection good enough to play with other people and you're going to want to play it by yourself. So I thought I might as well make a little a video, uh, a little guide, I, might, I guess you could call it, and how to kind of solo this in a little bit of a cheesy way not that much cheese not it's not really like cheese in a way that it's an exploit or anything like that this is totally no exploit no nothing just the strats that you need to use when you are going to be playing this event so yeah let's first start off with what you're gonna need uh, mainly now I'm personally using a Bone Widow and the reason being that uh, I find it that it's better to have a Bone Widow when you're doing it solo because you have the Ex Exalted Iron Bride which you know you can do a lot of damage with and you have the Meat Hook which there's another way to get like your health back so that's why we're gonna use Bone Widow and we're gonna try to get as much health and also as much damage out of our Iron Bright. So we have Necromancer Intensify, you got Flow in there and Streamline because you know you want to use your abilities. Steel Fiber, Normal, you got Redirection, Vitality, Rage is really good. Actually, I would say just use it on every Necromancer, it's really good. It like kind of helps out, especially at like uh, those level 100 Orphixes when you're taking a lot of damage. Uh, you can get your energy back. You got the Thruster because you might as well because you know you don't you want to be able to run as much as you can. And then we got Necromech Pressure Point and Fury, and the reason for that is the melee mods of the Necromech also apply to the Iron Bride, so you can actually increase not only the attack speed of the uh, Iron Bride, which is like pretty slow anyway, you can also increase a little bit more damage there. I think Necromech Pressure Point is like 120 or something like 60 or something like that. And then I have Rebuke, which kind of works and kind of doesn't. It kind of is like, like a Proteas... Not a Protea, the fucking what? What's what's a Warframe? I can't remember her name, but it's like one of the Warframes ability that kind of like shocks them and gives them like a little bit of like electricity stat, and it kind of works. It does not work on sentience, so it's not gonna work on sentience. But I just have it in here because I didn't really have anything else to put on here, and then hydraulic so that you can jump up and get to like certain orifices that are like kind of out of your reach of your uh, melee. So. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Bone Widow build. Now for the Arc Gun, we are going to use Fluctus. Now the reason we're using Fluctus, and I think most people probably would know that, is because this thing has infinite punch through. Which basically means you can hit the Orphix generators that you have to destroy to destroy the Orphix. Pretty much like you can shoot through walls with this and it's actually pretty good. Now I have like a two former build. I didn't really have to do much. I just put automatic trigger so I can fire it faster. You could put like a little bit more damage in there. You could probably like get more damage with like the 90% uh electricity or like 120 percent uh mods but i didn't really feel like doing that i feel like you know it was going to take me at least another two forma to kind of get that in there but this really works and this is probably the best way to deal with the orphix is because you know when you're solo you want to kill the orphix as soon as you can because you don't want to get like one shotted by the sentience because sentience are going to annihilate you at like higher levels so you want to kill the orphix as fast as you can and this is the best way to hit all the orphix generators from basically through all the walls so yeah fluctus is uh, the best weapon uh, for the mission and then we have the Iron Bride build. Now, I don't really have all the Arc Wing mods 
or the arc melee mods so I'm just using basically what I have but what we have is basically bleeding edge and cutting edge that adds I think crit damage and uh, melee damage and I have furor that actually helps out even though it's like 10% attack speed that you definitely want to have as much attack speed as you can get then you have temper blade that's crit chance and then you got you want to have corrosive I think mostly only corrosive on here but because I don't have all the mods and I don't have the 60% elemental and also like iron bright came with a deep polarity so I didn't really want it to change that into a dash but I will eventually honestly but uh, even with like you know like 4,000 damage and I'm doing like as much damage as corrosive as cold it's still pretty decent it's not bad you could definitely uh, use it at higher levels and I've taken it to the highest level it still does pretty decent damage and then you also have the heavy attack to kind of help you out a little bit more you could use the heavy attack with the combination of your normal iron bright so yeah that's the iron bright build and then the next thing you definitely want to have your hands on this and if you don't I would say get your hands on this is the Wazir Predacite. Now the reason we're gonna use this Kubro is because it has the erratic erratic mycelium erratic mycelium I think augment which gives you heal. Now it only says like it just says you like uh, it heals allies which basically mean it can heal your necromech and I'm not gonna lie this this is like one of those things that like a 50 50 chance like sometimes you will have this on and sometimes you might not but I would just say just because there's not a lot of ways to heal your necromex I'm pretty sure like most of them got taken out even like the dash one what was a dash one I don't really remember that uh, the Wazarin dash got taken out so I might as well have as much uh, heal you can get so as much healing you can get uh, especially when you're solo so yeah the Wazir Prada site is definitely a must. And then another quick little thing is you can actually use Combat Discipline on your Warframe and you will get uh, basically like I think 20 health every time you get a kill. So like 20 health every time you get a kill you, you'll get it and because you're, you, you're not using your Warframe, your Warframe will not lose any health. So this is another way to heal your Necromech, not that reliable probably not going to be that useful at like even like higher levels unless you like kill the grenier or corpus but just to have it it's probably decent so yeah having that on kind of helps you out a little bit more too another way to heal the necromech a little bit so yeah that's it so after you have all of your gear ready the one thing you gotta remember when you drop into the orphix venom and the best way to do it is to do the endurance you know just so that everybody knows you want to go ahead into the orphix venom endurance mission and the best way to do it especially when you're solo is going to be killing the orphix as soon as you can now the reason we're doing it is because the sentience even at like I think like level 60 or something can do a bunch of damage to your necromech and when you're solo you don't really have the luxury to kill the sentience and then you know kill the orphix like take your time as you might do in a squad or maybe not in a squad like squads they probably kill the sentience a lot quicker but because you don't have the weapons and you don't have the time honestly to you know kill the sentients what you want to do is avoid them and kill the orphix as soon as you can try to be you know cautious look at your health bar try to use your meat hook as much as you can so you have an enemy in your hand so that also counts like counts as like somewhat like a human shield that acts like somewhat like a human shield and then you also have the heal that you get from the meat hook and basically that's about it you just want to kill the orphix as soon as you can uh, and kill enemies, you know, in between the Orphic spawns, and you can definitely get to the level, I think level 120 is like the last Orphix, like level th uh, 36 Orphixes, in pretty much uh, no time. And, you know, use your Iron Bride to uh, kill the Orphix. We're gonna do may all, most of our damage for the Orphix is gonna come from the Iron Bride. Fluctus we're gonna use to get rid of the generators and we're gonna kill the orphics as fast as I can and then kill the enemies to get a little bit more additional score but that doesn't really matter and yeah that's basically it that's all you really have to do especially when you solo now if there is a way to do this with a void rig I don't really know because void rig doesn't really have a lot of healing capabilities it does have like the big ass guns but 
my concern is like because there's no other way to heal you know because like bone widow has a healing capability and also a pretty good weapon to kind of use against the orphixes like the exalt iron bright is really good against other orphixes so i want to say i'm going to be sticking with bone widow and the best i've done so far myself it took me an hour to complete it and i got about 36 orphixes and I got 19,000, I think I'm going to get exact 19,425, which I think is pretty decent. I don't know if other people are going to be like, man, that's fucking nothing. I get it. But this is, you know, I'm doing it by myself. I don't really have anybody to, you know, rely on, honestly. So if you're doing it solo, I think 19,000 solo in an hour. I don't think that's bad. And, you know. I was doing it on the Grenier tile set, which is a little bit harder because Grenier are harder to kill. If you were doing it on a Corpus one, you could probably get a little bit more at there. I could definitely get to 20,000, I know, and I'm going to try to do that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, basically it. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to, if you like the content or whatever you want to call this. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. And yeah, that's it. And I will see you with. Uh, another video maybe or a live stream what I don't know we'll do something I don't know we'll see